Now, your local two weather authority forecast with meteorologist John Bayer. Come on, John. Seriously? Mm. This is not <laughs> fall, man. I know. This and is just not, not right. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's November. It, it, and record highs. We're still in the 90s. Record oh. highs? Yeah, we set another record today. Why not, right? No. You got I good just, news, though, don't you? I do, eventually. Okay. Uh, if you just sleep for, you know, the next 24 hours or so, you'll wake up and be like, whoa, what happened? Okay. I don't know if that's the best plan, but honestly, at this point, I think we'll try anything. It was, let's talk about October first. Well, what did we see over the past month? Well, we had six records that were either tied or broken. We had 13 whole days where we were in the 90s for highs. That is ridiculous for the month of October. And this was the hottest average October temperature that we've ever seen at Midland International Airport. Hopefully you had a whole lot of the AC cranking because you definitely needed it over the past month. But now that we're into November, we get to the chance to see that big change that we've been waiting on. And then today happened and it was another record out there. But don't worry, we do have those changes coming. It's just we got to make it through the next couple of days. Then we'll start to see the cooler temperatures, the rain that we've been waiting on. We're actually starting to see that front getting a little bit closer to us all of that dense cloud cover right off to the northwest well that's going to start to swing down into west texas and once it does we're going to get that chance for rain and start to see those much much cooler temperatures back in this forecast in the very near future now where do we need the rain the most well that's going to be right here in the central basin this is the area that we're seeing some of that drought creeping back in you can see it's centered right around midland county and if we can get some of the rain there that is where we're going to need it the most but honestly, everybody could use another taste of some of that wet weather out there. And thankfully, it looks like we're all going to get a good, solid chance for a soaking over the next few days. And especially as we move towards the end of the week into the weekend, here's that cold front we're waiting on. And it's starting to get a little bit closer to us, about to enter the northern basin. And once it does, that's when we're going to start to see some really big time changes out there. And it all starts with that rain and the cooler temperatures. By the time we get into the overnight, hours tonight we're going to start to see more cloud cover making its way a little bit closer to the basin some rain starting to form just outside of the viewing area a little bit closer towards del rio san angelo not necessarily here in the basin but once we get our way into wednesday evening that's when we start to see some pretty strong storms developing again this rain also not quite in west texas we, we still got to wait on it tomorrow looks like while we might see a couple of showers a couple of scattered storms we're really not going to see the bulk of this until Thursday morning. That's when that rain just spreads out all across the basin, covering the entire viewing area, and that is the beginning of the big change we've been waiting on. Thursday is the day, and then every day after that, we get plenty more rain chances in this forecast, get a good chance to finally see that wet weather, not just in the basin, also into the Trans-Pecos, down towards the mountains, southeastern New Mexico. We all get a shot at some of that rainfall, and it's about time. Anything to drop these temperatures Temperatures. Here we were getting way back up there again, upper 80s, lower 90s all across the state, setting another record here at Midland International Airport. We just can't get enough of these records. Hopefully this is the last one we'll see for a while. 90 degrees this afternoon, blew right past the old record of 87, just blowing it right out of the water, way above average, nearly 20 degrees above what we'd expect to see at the start of the month of November. And it's finally time to see some of those changes out there once we move through the next couple days. 50s overnight to our north and only 70s and 80s for our highs tomorrow. 81 in Big Spring, 81 in Jowl, and you see more of that along I-20. Some of those 50s and 60s overnight, but once that front moves through, our highs only getting into the lower 80s, mid 80s in Monahans, Barstow, Grand Falls, I-10, really same story down there as well. These lows are going to start to look a little bit better later in the week. That's when we'll see those lows dropping down into the 50s, but for now, more of those 60s overnight, some more mid 80s along I-10 and into the Davis Mountains as well. They're going to get another taste of that dropping down into the 70s by tomorrow afternoon. And really just from here, we start to see all of these big time changes and those temperatures dropping down to the 70s, even the 60s near the end of the work week. Plenty of rainfall in this forecast over the next few days. You can see that lingering into the weekend as well whole lot of rain coming our way and a whole lot of cooler weather in this forecast. So really just got to make it through. Uh, tomorrow is the last time that we even see 80s out there. And then November comes in a big way.